Our friends over at the Crossroads Clubhouse in Hopedale are getting ready to host a very special fundraising event. It's an event that is crucial to help pay for events and services for the clubhouse, all while providing local residents with great food in a fun and festive environment. To get all the details on this event, I invited some of the folks from the Crossroads Clubhouse to join me in studio. And we are so happy to be joined on the Milford Informer this week by a couple of representatives of the Crossroads Clubhouse. Of course, a good friend of ours here on Milford TV. We have Max and Kathy joining us on the show. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here this week. Thank you thank for you. having us. Uh, so, Max, we'll, we'll start with you. Uh, I know a, a lot of people who tune into Milford TV and, and, and watch our material on our social media accounts, they know Crossroads Clubhouse very well. But uh, just to refresh everyone's memory, tell, tell us a little bit about the work you guys do at Crossroads. Sure. So uh, Crossroads is a vocational program uh, working with people with a mental illness, uh, long-term mental illness, to work on employment, education, social goals, community linkage, uh, really uh, uh, the whole spectrum of services that really can be covered. That's excellent. And, uh, and, and Kathy, what's your experience been like with Crossroads? I will have been with them for five years in April, and I've done nothing but grow since I started there and recovered immensely. That's, that's wonderful to hear. And, and so obviously, uh, if, if everyone can tell by, uh, our, we've co color coordinated well for, for the <laughs> event, but uh, we're, we're here specifically to talk about the annual St. Patrick's Day Pancake Breakfast. It's a, it's a great fundraiser that you guys have been doing every year. And, and 23 years now, if I'm not mistaken, that Crossroads has been doing this, uh, this fundraiser. So I, I'm, I'm just a long time for, uh, for, for something like this. It must be very successful for it to be uh, going on this long. Uh, it truly is our, our biggest fundraiser, our most successful fundraiser, and uh, the, the most important one we do all throughout the year. Uh, so uh, you guys generate a tremendous amount of traffic usually every year at, at the Pancake Breakfast. About, about how many people do you, do you serve uh, approximately at this event each year? Uh, so we do serve about uh, 400 people a year. That's, that's great. And, uh, and, and so the, the proceeds for an event like this, what, what do you generally use uh, the, the money raised to, to go towards? So the money we get from this event tends to go to um, any kind of special projects that our clubhouse needs, any special trips or occasions, our vacation week. Uh, for example, right now we are having our whole second floor repainted and all of that is being done with proceeds from fundraisers like this. Um, no taxpayer money being spent on that and that's something that we really are very, very proud of to be able to fund our own projects like that. Serving approximately 400 people a year, that's a, that, that's a, that's a big undertaking. So you must have quite a, a, a crew of, of volunteers helping out at this event. We do, we do. We have a tremendous amount of people who come out and support, including politicians from the local towns, um, executives from the local towns and businesses. It's, it's a wonderful outpouring of support. So we have to talk about tickets for the event, obviously. Uh, First of all, uh, Kathy, we'll, we'll, we'll toss this to you. Uh, how can people go about getting tickets? What are, what are the particulars there to, uh, to get into the event? Well, we have people selling them by themselves, and you can buy them at the door. That's great. And, uh, and how much is, uh, is the cost of admission? It's $5 for members, $5 for children under 12, and $10 for adults. That's great. And, uh, and I hear you guys have a, have a raffle going on. Uh, so uh, aside from getting the breakfast, there's, uh, there's some fun activities there on tap. Well, what can you tell us about the raffle? Um, I defer that to Max because right. he knows a lot more <laughs> about it than I do. So sure. we do have raffle tickets for sale. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, you can get one of them for $3 or two of them for $5. And what we have for prizes, we've got uh, tickets to the Providence Bruins. Oh, wow. Uh, PINs donated some gift certificates. We have a couple of spas who have donated, uh, a couple of pizza places and food places, as well as the Whitensville Community Center for any kind of like working out or anything like that, anything that you want to spend money on over there. Uh, so a tremendous outpouring of support from some of the uh, companies in the area, as well as uh, some quilts and other um, handmade items that we have been donated as well. And of course there's cash prizes. Yes. Oh, e even better. So, <laughs> so a, a wide array of stuff that you can win 
and uh, and so that's that, that that sounds great. It's it's all all the more excitement there uh, for for the upcoming pancake breakfast. Now you did mention um, you get a lot of the local politicians. We've seen in the past uh, Representative Fernandez. Uh, I remember Richard Moore uh, in his days in the state senate was always a, a big proponent of this event. Uh, a similar uh, a cast of characters showing up this year. Similar cast of characters, of course. We do have a, a bunch of politicians still coming. Fernandez will be there again. Um, Kuros, uh, as well as many, many others, and those who don't come do tend to donate as well, which is wonderful. So now, obviously, we ha we have to talk about the breakfast itself. It is a, it is a pancake breakfast. Uh, what are all of uh, the, the 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 goodies that everyone can expect uh, if if they haven't been to the event before? So um, if you've never been to the event before, I will say that these are some of the best pancakes I have personally ever had in my life. I don't know how they get them so fluffy. I hope to one day learn the secret, but. Uh, Pancakes the size of your plate, bacon, uh, sausage, as well as orange juice, milk, um, just the whole fixing for, for a really very good breakfast. And basically every, everything that you could want for a, uh, uh, for a, for a nice weekend breakfast. And, and so again, uh, we, we, should, we shouldn't pass over some of the, the most important information. Uh, well, what, are the, uh, what is the date and time for, uh, for, for the event for everyone to, to come down and check it out? March 20th from 8.30 to 12.30, and we'd love to see anybody that wants to come. That's great. So March March 20th, so again, uh, just a, a great opportunity on the weekend to come down, have a great meal, and, and help out a, a, a great cause. And, uh, and where is the, the Crossroads Clubhouse located? Crossroads Clubhouse is located at 11 William Street in Hopedale, Massachusetts. So just uh, just across the border in Hopedale, a, a, a very quick drive for for Milford residents and certainly the, the, the surrounding communities. And uh, I, I know talking to Val last year, even with the the tough winter that we had last year, it was a, it was a little bit difficult to get the word out for the event. But you still had a great turnout. So uh, I'm sure now having a had a much more of a moderate winter this year and the temperatures already warming up, uh, it's it's going to be the perfect time for everyone to come down and check this out. Sure. Yes. And uh, so now in terms of other events coming up on the horizon for Crossroads, any, anything big uh, uh, coming up that you'd like to let the viewers know about? Well, we uh, always have our summer picnic. Uh, we don't have a date yet for that. And um, I will also put a quick plug in for way out in the fall, we have a haunted maze that we do as well. Um, both of those we uh, raise funds for as well. So if anybody can make it to those, those would be fantastic and you can look for those um, in the future. That's that's really exciting. It's it, it is a far way off but the the, the Halloween maze is, as everyone has seen we've, we've had a chance to walk through it in, in years past. That's an excellent event so uh, just uh, you guys do do a terrific job there and, and, and a lot of great events and of course there's just the work you do there is, is phenomenal and uh, for anyone who's looking to to find out more information about Crossroads uh, where, where can they go online to uh, to get some more information? So we do have a website that's a little bit out of date. If you are ever to want a little bit more information, I would certainly come to one of these events. And we have a wonderful tour guide crew who can show you the ropes, explain what each unit does, explain kind of the whole, whole organization to you. Well, that's, that's wonderful. So, so again, Max and Kathy, we really appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, it's the, the Crossroads Annual Pancake Breakfast, their 23rd Annual Pancake Breakfast coming up on March 20th. Uh, it should be a great time. Uh, there's going to be plenty of seats. There's going to be plenty of great food. And uh, so we'll certainly look forward to that. And uh, we encourage everyone to come out and check it out. And so, again, Max and Kathy, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, everybody, this is Tim Coet. Make sure you check out full episodes of The Milford Informer on Milford TV. New episodes air every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. and then re-air frequently over the course of the weekend. Milford TV can be found on Comcast Channel 8 and Verizon Channel 38. And if you live in the Milford area and have an idea for a news story, you can contact us at news at milfordtv.net.